Okay, let us move on to step number 11 now. Uh, it says that you, uh, to precisely place the text box, display the layout dialog box, change the horizontal alignment to centered relative to page, and change the vertical alignment to change the cha and, uh, and then change the vertical absolute position to 0.5% below the paragraph. Okay, let us do that. To do that, we need to go back to our main document. Okay, this is the main document. Then we need we need to click on the layout options. Then you need to click on uh, let me let me not rush. Click on layout options. Then click on see more. See more will give you these options, right? And uh, this is your layout position. Then you need to change the uh, alignment, the horizontal alignment. How do you know that it's, it's the horizontal alignment? The horizontal is written here. Okay, then it's, this one must be centered relative to what? To the page. And this one must be, okay, absolutely 0 0.5 below what? Below the last paragraph. Below the paragraph. Then you click OK. Uh, okay, so if you get an error like this where it says invalid input, make sure that to change the the zero point to zero comma five. So it depends on how your system is actually set up. Click on that one, then it should be fine. And then let's let's do uh, step eleven and twelve on the same video. Let's move on now to step number twelve. Step number twelve says that okay. Uh, we can highlight this one since it's done. Okay, step number 12 says in the text box, type the following text. Instead of typing, I advise you to select all of it, then copy it, and then you paste it as, uh, then you paste as text. Uh, keep text only. Okay, then let us combine the uh, 12. 11, 12, and 13. Uh, step number 13 says, okay, it says, uh, step number 13, uh, we're done with 12, we're highlighting 12. Uh, okay, that one is now highlighted. Then we go to step number 13 in the textbook, change the font size of all the text to 18 and apply bold and send. Okay, we go back to our main document. This must be 18. We highlight everything, change this to 18. And then we have to make it bold. And then we have to center it. To center, you click here. Okay. Okay, then now you are done with step number 13. So let us continue and add step number 14 on the same video. Uh, it says that we need to apply a shape style to the text box under uh, theme styles in the fourth row. Select the last style. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, if you click on the text box itself, like such that it is highlighted, you can get uh, options to format it. Okay. And then, because we need to apply a shape style, these are the shape styles, eh? You click on format, then you'll, you'll see the shape styles. And then the instruction says, under theme, theme styles, right? Under theme styles, uh, in the fourth row, you click here, then you count the rows. This is one, two, three, four in the fourth row okay select the last style okay this is one two three four then you have to select the one the last style and this is the last style click on it okay you click on the last style okay then you are done now with step number number 14 okay then oh no you're not done then they say uh, you need to change the shape outline. Okay, to change the shape outline, there is here are the options to change sh the shape stuff. 
Uh, this is shape fill this is shape outline the one that we're looking for and then this is shape effect so we're gonna click on shape outline click on it and then you get these options you get theme of theme colors and then they say under the th okay select the last oh no 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 okay then change the shape outline in the second column okay second column this is one two okay and click the first color which is the black one click on the first color okay and then they say step number 15 insert the file name in the footer okay to insert the file name in the footer you need to click on insert and then go to your footer this is footer okay and then click on edit footer after clicking on edit footer you will want you will have to look for document option and this is your document option and then this is your file name so if they said uh, insert the file name as the full as the footer that's what you do and you click on file name and then you see after clicking on that it actually display the file name here on the foot okay so once you're done with step number 15 they say save and close the file and then submit for grading okay that means we are done click on save okay and then now we'll have to submit okay if you're not sure how to submit please watch our old videos from 2021 you'll find it there